this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In this video, I'm covering example 4 from section 3-1 in the Savas Realize Algebra 1 textbook. So in this video, I am identifying constraints on the domain. So let's talk about what that means. So a constraint is just a restriction. All right, it is just something that causes us to cut down on the domain. So it's it's what prevents the domain from being all real numbers. Okay. So in our example that we have here on the page, it says that the diagram is showing the shipping charges. Okay, as a function of weight of several online orders. So when they say that the shipping charges are a function of weight, this term right here is saying that weight is your x value or your input and the shipping charges is your output. So based on the situation, what constraints, if any, are on the domain of the function? So they're asking what restrictions are there that cause the, the domain to not just be all real numbers, essentially. So again, our domain is the set of the x values where, well, let's think about this. It's talking about weight, right? So what is the minimum amount of weight? Can I, can I have a negative number of weight? I can't, right? So my x values have to be greater than or equal to zero. And then I ask myself stuff like, well, can I have a, a portion of a pound or whatever? And yes, I can. So that is the only constraint on my situation. So the constraint is this, but it's that weight must be positive. So this portion of the set notation that we type in there, that's usually our, our constraint. Okay, it's usually telling us where the number cuts off on. So let's look at this lady. So there's a gal named Margaret, and she has a monthly clothes budget of 50 bucks. So what she's doing is she's, she's mapping the amount of money that she spends each month to the total number of items that she buys. All right, so what are the constraints on the domain? So our domain value is the amount of money that she's spending. And so our constraint then would be from zero to 50 because she can't spend less than zero dollars on, on clothes. She's not making money off of her clothes, but she also can't spend more than the 50 bucks because she has that budget. So this here would be the constraint would be all the x values between 0 and 50. And we're including the 0 and the 50 because she could she could spend no money on it or she can she can reach exactly what her budget is. But there we have it. That is um, identifying constraints on the domain. Until next time.